for us to be here. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's great to to have you guys uh, here, ready to to review stores. Um, thank you to all of you, by the way, who uh, sent me the. Uh, the, the URLs to your stores. Um, we'll be taking a look at them. We'll be able to, to give you to provide feedback um, to your stores. And even if you're, uh, we had to randomly select um, some of the stores that we received because we didn't have time to uh, to to catch up with all of them. But um, even if your store is not uh, one of the ones that we selected randomly selected for the webinar today, uh, I'm sure you'll be able still to to learn from from everything that from all the feedback that all the stores are going to receive. Um, by the way, if you have any question uh, any time during the webinar, feel free to uh, type it here in the chat box. We'll stop several times during the webinar to, to answer these questions, but at any time, just feel free to do it. We'll either answer uh, through the chat box or, or here live for, for everyone to, to hear us. Um, so I'm going to introduce myself. For those of you who don't know me, my name is, my name is Raul. I'm the partner manager at, at Referral Candy. Um, I manage all the relationship that we have with uh, companies like Maokao uh, that is here with us today. Um, and uh, we were partnering with, uh, with, especially with uh, e-commerce experts. And we have developed something that we call the, the experts portal of referral candy. So these are uh, e-commerce experts uh, from several, uh, from several e-commerce uh, platforms that can help you uh, either set up your, your referral candy account or set up all the marketing materials that you require. Uh, to, to to get your referral program up and running. And so if you want to check this out, it's on experts.referralcandy.com. Now, why are you uh, on this webinar? So maybe this was something that was forwarded to you or maybe you uh, were signed up to, uh, to our email list. Uh, but basically, this is a webinar for all uh, e-commerce store owners or those of you who work for uh, an e-commerce company. You, doesn't, you don't have to be um, uh, an owner to, to, to be here, but you, if maybe you're working on the marketing team of an e-commerce store company, uh, maybe you're working in the, in the sales team, and maybe you'd like to learn more about how you can improve your current website and how you can get more leads and get more sales from that. Um, and for those of you who don't know what Referral Candy is, uh, so we are referral program software for online stores. Um, we are mostly focused in, uh, in, in small and medium online retailers also, although we've had some big brands using Referral Candy in the past. Uh, we've worked with over a thousand companies, uh, but these are some of the probably most, some of the most famous that we've, that we've had. Um, and actually, it's a, it's, a, it's a picture that I like to show a lot because uh, it shows that we work with pretty much all industries. So uh, for those of you that don't know, Uniqlo, it's a clothing company, great sets footwear. Um, Blue Smart, they do uh, intelligent luggage. Uh, Rebook, uh, it's Rebook. <laughs> pretty, pretty much everyone here knows them. It's uh, they do uh, sports clothing. Um, and Title, this is actually JC's uh, Spotify competitor. So they do software. So pretty much with from all industries and and uh, our 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 slogans that we want to give all e-commerce stores um, uh, a referral program doesn't matter. Uh, what's the what's their size or what they're selling, and uh, we're available for all uh, e-commerce platforms. So uh, Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, Magento, all major all major ones. Even if you have your own custom store, uh, as long as you're able to copy and paste a piece of code and either forward or BCC us in your in your invoice emails, we are able to basically track all the referral activity happening in your store and implement a referral program for for you. So, as you guys know, we're having a live store feedback session today, uh, which is uh, basically we're going to review uh, some of the stores that we received over the past couple of days. Uh, and for that, I'm going to have Michael and Olivia from Maokao. Um, they're both the co-founders of Maokao. It's actually one of the uh, one of the top Shopify uh, experts in France. And uh, both Michael and Olivia will. Again, welcome to the webinar. Uh, thank you for being here. And maybe you can tell us a little more about what you guys do. Sure, yeah. So we're one of the only uh, Shopify experts uh, in France, actually. Um, and we're the only Shopify experts in France to work with uh, Shopify merchants uh, over the long term on everything that's conversion optimization, uh, defining and executing uh, web marketing strategies. So we're really looking forward to giving our to all these websites. Uh, we, I, we saw that not all of them are on Shopify, but we're basically looking to um, provide uh, our opinion on what we see and what um, sites apply best practices uh, and using 
basically constructive criticism to help you hopefully uh, make, uh, uh, you know, optimize your, your own website um, and get, you know, a, a new, uh, a new uh, an objective opinion on, you know, coming from our side. what you guys have to say um, about the, the stores that we have selected um, and uh, for all of you uh, who are attending I just wanted to also let you know that uh, well there's my email if you guys have um, any questions uh, after the webinar if there's anything that you would like to uh, to maybe to, to follow up with uh, here's my my email and also um, we have some free stuff to give away so we are going to give away at the end of the webinar two things so for those of you who want to try referral candy, we're offering an extended free trial of 60 days. We'll give you a, a referral link that you can use. And we're also offering a free 30-minute strategy session with Michael and Olivia from Maokao. So at the end of the webinar, we'll tell you how to get uh, both, both of this, um, uh, both of these. Hello? Oh, can, can you guys hear me? Uh, we hear you really bad oh okay um so let me repeat that <laughs> once again um, <laughs> yeah it's kind of broken up okay is it better now um sketchy yeah it is sketchy oh. okay you know what we should go ahead and start with a feedback session um i'll hand you guys the oh, all right all right so should we start? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Cool, okay, so we're going to go on the first uh, sign on the list. So this is Easy Property. Um, quite a, a known site, uh, if you guys know it. Uh, you can tell by the colors and the, the font of the logo, it uh, belongs to EasyJet. So it looks like they're basically trying to reinvent um, the real estate industry um, by providing you uh, up, um, solutions to sell or uh, let your property online. Um, so the first thing we notice here, um, really important, is a really strong positioning statement right from the start, making your next move uh, your best move. Right away, you're, they're giving you a strong idea of uh, what they can offer you along with strong photography. Um, the colors are obviously quite powerful. Um, we, we get the credibility from the fact that it belongs to EasyJet, if we can recognize that. Um, and if we go through the home page, uh, there's quite a lot of trust indicators. Uh, the fact that, you know, they're advertising your property on other... How they work, the benefits you get through going to them, so local knowledge, nationwide, maximum choice, more in your pocket, and so forth and so on. Um, another huge element they have on their home page is the reviews here. Um, this is something that we recommend to any any online store, as long as you're selling something online, if you can get reviews from your from your customers, then that's an automatic um, plus port for just in terms of credibility and conversion rate optimization. Um, and also another thing you notice right when you get on the site is the chat. So if you have the ability to provide live chat support, that's obviously um, something you should go forth, uh, go forward with. Some people just like to to chat online, um, and that can close the sale a lot of times. Um, if we take an example just to try to go through the, their, 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 their sales funnel on their website, um, let's say I'm going to try, want to sell my home, so I'm going to click here, um, see what they offer. Um, again, their, their copy is very strong um, and they have very clear pricing, so we see there are two packages. Um, the first package is a bit lighter in options, but again, very clear. Um, and what's really, really convincing to try to go work with them I mean, you know, as you know, as a side note, this is obviously one of the least uh, traditional um, sites we're going to be looking at today in terms of an e-commerce site. So you know, this is really real estate, but they obviously did a really nice job of um, providing you um, confidence and the right information at the right time. So here, after you're going through their pricing, um, they show you how much you could save um, by going through Easy Property rather than going through um, a traditional real estate agency. So if your price, if the, your selling price is five hundred thousand um, pounds, and you know that your local agent is going to charge you a, a, a fee of one point five percent, then they're basically telling you that if you're going to go with their standard pack, you're going to save six thousand six hundred thirty-five pounds, um, or you'd be avoiding um, that traditional real estate fee. You'd only be paying 
825 pounds. Um, they also give you the example of the premium pack, how much you'd be saving. And if you go through, what's really interesting about, you know, we got to consider this to be a tradi uh, what's a, traditionally would be known as a product page. Um, so if you're looking at a product description here, it's really complete from, from top to bottom. Once you go through their pricing, they still, they're still trying to convince you in terms of telling you why to sell with them and how they're different. Um, and they always provide support at the right time. Um, so yeah, you have, the, you have the reviews once again. Perhaps if we could go through some other parts of the website real quick in terms of maybe recommendations we would have. Um, if we're going to go, uh, let's see about them. So, so that was, um, again, easy property is huge, but we noticed that um, some of these pages, such as this one, are missing a footer. So it kind of feels like you're leaving the website. Um, in any case, it makes it a bit uh, more difficult to, act, to, to navigate the website once you land here, uh, just because you, we typically used to be seeing some links um, and a footer um, at the bottom of, a, of any page on the website. Um, Something else that we can notice, if we're going to go on um, this, one of the social media channels, um, we're going to be brought straight to, to their Facebook page here, for instance, without going on a new tab. So um, that's a bit odd sometimes because you want to keep your customer on your site. Um, right now, we just left the site, so it's a bit risky because they might, you know, as long as you get on Facebook, for instance, you might be doing something completely different in the next 30 seconds. So it's always good to keep your, uh, make sure your customer still have your, has your tab open for as long as possible. Um, they have a knowledge hub, which is great. I mean, content marketing is, is key. Um, still, <laughs> that's never going to change. They're missing the footer here, but um, one thing we noticed was that there was a difference between knowledge hub and blog. Well, or maybe the lack of difference, so it wasn't very clear. Um, I'm not sure what their purpose was here, but it um, looks like there was a bit of an overlap, at least from, from someone who's looking at the website from the first time. But overall, um, this is obviously a really, really well done site, um, and they're very convincing. So, yeah. Michael. Uh, that's uh, easy. Sorry, I have a question here. Um, so, what, what do you think? I mean, do you have a, a potential explanation of why? By the way, you can hear me now, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, so do you, do you have a, a potential reason of why they decided to go uh, with uh, this Knowledge Hub and the blog separately when it's pretty much the same thing? Or if you have to go for one, what would you, what would you choose? I think I'll go for the Knowledge Hub because pretty much all websites have a blog, but you know, calling it different might, you know, might draw some attention. That's, that's a really good point, actually. Um, a blog is what we're typically going to call um, a place where you're going to talk about your brand or um, just uh, show mastery of, of your industry. Um, but the, the name blog is so generic. So um, generally speaking, yeah, if, if there's a better way to name a blog, um, you know, if it's an information center, if it's a resource center, something like that, that shows um, right away in the title of, of, of that section in your site that you're a master in your field, you know what you're selling, you're not just you know, trying to sell products to make money or drop shipping or whatever, even in those cases, um, then yeah, absolutely, your, your blog and original name that's going to try to get uh, people to, to, to read your content. Uh, should we go on to the next site? Yep. Um, guys, if All you right. guys have any questions uh, for any of the stores that we're reviewing, uh, feel free to to type it here in the chat box. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so now we're back to, uh, I guess, what you guys are used to seeing, so more of a traditional uh, e-commerce store selling uh, physical goods. So first observations here, so minor history. Um, first things you see without even going beyond the fold um, is beautiful photography, so that's, that's great. Uh, they have a beautiful logo as well. By the way, the fold is literally the first screen that you will see without having to scroll anywhere. So whenever we do refer to the fold, it is the actual first screen that you'll see. And we'll refer to that quite a few times, so just wanted to point that out. <laughs> right. So, yeah, the, what you see uh, uh, before ever scrolling down, so at the fold, um, is key because um, you're not going to have all of the visitors are going to scroll past, especially if they're not interested. Um, and what really could um, 
um, optimize what you're seeing right now would be a positioning statement. Uh, we're seeing pictures, so um, we're kind of understanding that we're talking about bags, um, but something that's really going to sell the concept and make you want to either go to the navigation or uh, scroll down to, to, to learn more and see what the products are, um, that would definitely, you know, make the site a lot more powerful, and I'm sure that, you know, that would be a, that would optimize the conversion rate uh, alone. Um, yes. So if you have more information about the brand, who you are, what you do, just one clear sentence or phrase, show what you do, that would really help. It's really about your plus value and what you do as a brand and what makes you special. That's whenever we talk about a positioning statement, it's who are you, what's, who's your brand, and what is your added value, what makes you different from any, everybody else, what makes me want to buy from your site rather than buying from anybody else's site. Yeah. And what we, what we do see before scrolling, though, um, is the nice navigation, uh, nice and clean. And even more importantly, we have the notification message, free returns and exchanges on all orders and free shipping over $100. That's huge. Whenever you can uh, create a, 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 a marketing strategy around your shipping, um, that's definitely going to be a big trust indicator and it's going to help people get that checkout button and give you their credit card and finally uh, place an order. So before going on any links, let's go through the product page very quickly, um, the home page, I'm sorry. So we're going straight to the Instagram feed. So usually we, we tend to, to show um, um, some featured collections or some featured products. Um, now so, some brands in, in a, in a um, more of a luxury mindset are, are going to be very minimalist and not uh, show uh, that much content if you want to go through the navigation. Um, so it really depends on, on how the brand is positioning themselves, but sometimes it would help to um, show some, some products, um, even if it's a limited amount. Um, if you always hear it looking in the street, people on their phones, they're always sliding their thumb up and down their screen, so it's inevitable we could always um, make it a bit easier for, for people to, to see what your, what your brand is, is uh, selling here. Um, and if we're looking at the, the footer, yeah, um, what's also really good we noticed is that there is a newsletter sign up um, where the brand is going to give you an automatic 20% discount on your first order. Um, so that, that's great to always incentivize people to sign up because email marketing is still the best, uh, offers the best ROI today. Um, but 20%, that may be a, a lot. Um, believe it or not, um, there was even a study, I'd have to pull it up again, but where people were offering either 5% or 10% um, to their potential customers. And the, the that uh, offered 5% ended up having more, uh, more uh, sign-ups. So 20% might be a, a bit too much. You're still going to get uh, uh, people to sign up if you give them a bit less. And uh, uh, if we're going to have a question about, here, actually, about the, about the discount. Yeah. So something I've noticed is that this website doesn't have uh, the typical pop-up that comes up every time that you, that you uh, visit a website for the first time that tells you to, to actually to, to sign up on their, on their newsletter or the mail list. Um, and they offer you this 10% uh, or, or whatever discount they offer uh, at the beginning. Do you think that having it, uh, it having this, this sign up form in a less aggressive way, like here, it's at the bottom, you, it's, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, join it if you want it, you know, we're not going to show a pop up uh, in the middle of the screen telling you about this. Do you think that that works better or are you, I mean, do, do you recommend to have this uh, pop up or it, it, Kind of like the the ones that that follow you right before you exit the page. Yeah, so there's actually so many ways to go about it, um, and I'm glad you raised this point because there's another element to it, which is that when you're you know when you're landing on a website, um, and the only way to sign up and have that incentive for the you know for giving your email address is to have it on the footer, it might be a bit more discreet. Um, so you might not be maximizing your your signups that way. Um, if you're, you're going to add a pop-up um, through an app or something else, that'll definitely help. The, 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 the main thing to, to keep in mind is not making it intrusive, not to have the pop-up show up right when the site loads. Get people to read your positioning statement, go through the right. homepage a little bit, and then uh, get a uh, pop-up. And since we noticed that this store was on Shopify, um, so if you're, if you're listening to whoever is running Minor History, if you're listening to this one app that's really easy to set up um, for pop-ups um, that works great is Pixel Pop. Um, yep. Pixel Union, or the developers of that. Um, so I highly recommend that. Yeah, 
Um, so you could you, you could get newsletter signups that way, and you have a lot of options to uh, create uh, your, your pop-ups, uh, whether it's through a time, specific time delay or once people reach a specific part of your page. So maybe have a look at that and see if that helps with um, your, your newsletter signups. Um, well, maybe just try to simulate uh, an order very quickly. Um, let's say if we're looking for, you know, going through the checkout funnel. Um, so what we noticed about the photography, so really good photography once again. It is a, a tiny bit odd to see the different sizes of images because what happens is that the footer gets delayed when you're hovering your mouse um, to see the secondary image. Not too bad, but it is, it's, it's a bit, uh, it could be a bit bizarre. Um, so here you have a pretty clean uh, product page. What I really do love is the fact that you have returns and exchanges shipped free both ways. So again, it's a huge trust indicator and really helps people making their decision because if they don't like it, well, they don't have to struggle with the return uh, process. It's all taken into account. It's free, so it can really help uh, create uh, uh, happy and potentially lasting customers. Um, and if you do have customer reviews, um, be sure to um, really feature them throughout the site, eventually through the home page. Uh, it would be too bad to just have them on, on the product page. Try to create trust with new customers as soon as possible when they land on the site. So if we're going to add this to the cart and go to checkout, actually I wanted to see what the cart page looks like first. So yeah, really clean uh, cart page. Really do like the Amazon Pay. Um, that's another um, trust indicator, something that not a lot of people use even on Shopify. Um, but yeah, the, the checkout funnel seems very clean. Um, so I'm not going to go through the order, but um, overall really, really clean looking store. A couple uh, modifications though could really um, bump up that optimization rate, I think, that, that conversion rate. Uh, Michael, we have a we have a question, um, and it's I think it was uh, uh, actually Adam. Can you uh, can you tell us where where you saw it? Uh, Adam was asking us about how do you put that text under the buy button, and maybe it was on the checkout or on the card page, on the product page. So maybe if we can go back to the product page real quick. Yeah, what but what button? I, I we had cut a little bit. So it's, uh, oh yeah, how do you put the text under the buy button? So uh, yeah, so I guess it's under add to cart. This are uh, the return exchanges ship free both ways. Oh yeah, um, well knowing what uh, theme they're using, um, they most likely did that uh, in the code uh, of the theme. Uh, so it's a, it's, a, it's a quick edit, but yeah, they most likely did that through code um, given that the prog description is really this. So they probably did this and customized, uh, personalized the, the, the font and colors. Yeah, this would happen on the product template on the theme. Um, yeah, that would definitely be, uh, that would be very simple HTML, but it would happen so that whenever you go on any kind of product, it would just be there, which is very smart. So you wouldn't even have to add it on every single product. But yes, that's, that's a hard-coded edit. Yeah. Cool. Sounds good. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah, that Great. Definitely answers. Um, so I don't know if you guys have more uh, about this, or maybe we can move into the next one. Yeah, let's move on to the next one. Um, so the next one is going to be Bond Apparel. Okay. Um, so the first thing I'm, I'm noticing here, um, I'm curious to know. Um, so the URL is bottom apparel, but the name of the site is back of the net. Um, oh, it's an abbreviation, I guess. Didn't come up at first, but okay. I, I get it now. Um, all right. Um, cool. Okay. <laughs> I didn't expect it. Sorry. But sorry. That sounded dumb. Um, good positioning statement. Clothing for the aerial fo football enthusiast. Okay. Um, had already gone through a purchase here, um, well, add a product to the cart, so you can already see that I have two items, and what I do like is the fact that um, no matter where you go on the website, you're going to have uh, your cart to always remind you uh, where you're at in, in, in your purchase. Oh, that's, per that's pretty smart, I think, having the, the cart following you through the store. You can click any time, really, to go get to it. 
Yep, I really like it. Yeah, no, that's really good. Um, so if we're gonna go on different products here, so we have shop shirts, shop dad hats, shop sweaters. Okay. So this is a pro okay. So we're landing straight on the product page. Um, but it is opening in a new tab. And this is mentioning actually, it sounds like it's mentioning a collection. I mean, what you would call on Shopify collection because you're talking about sweaters or hats or shirts, but actually what you're going to is a product as opposed to actual all the hats or all the sweaters. So this is quite oh, problematic right. because you would think that you would actually land on all of the dad hats or all of the sweaters, but actually you're landing on a very specific product page. So either you do actually put a picture that represents all of the different hats and then you link it to all the different hats or you actually explain that you're going to go on that specific hoodie. So that's quite problematic in terms of user experience because we did not expect to land on a specific product page as opposed to a collection page. Yeah. Right. Um, so if we, let's try to go on. So here we're accessing basically a collection page um, through the shop link on the navigation. So really smart to have the quick view here. Um, try to reduce the amount of uh, clicks uh, in the sales funnel, so that's really good. Um, but the product description, I'm assuming this is maybe related to the platform you're using, perhaps, but it seems like the formatting is off. Uh, they're not including any formatting because there's no spaces here. Because If I'm going to go on the full description, yeah, this is formatted. So maybe you want to check out why that's um, that's happening. Uh, again, just like we saw on the previous site, really smart to give you know um, the shipping info on every product page, um, so that can really motivate customers to say, okay, well, this is twenty eight ninety five. I just got to add another fifteen bucks or so, and then I'm going to get free shipping in the U.S. Um, so yeah, if we're going to add that to the cart, um, the cart is really well done here on this platform as well. It's actually actually also really really nice that all the pictures have been kind of cut in a way that the background is transparent so yeah. that whichever background that you're on, you know, whether it's white or gray, especially in this theme, you know, I think it's square space, but it's still a theme. So wherever you are on, it is, you know, it's quite, quite nicely cut and, you know, you can still see it in the very way that it's going to look. It's very, very nice. And it's a, it's, yeah, and it's, and it's a very clean uh, car page as well. It is, it is. Yeah, so if, you know, this, the experience is really good so far. Let's say, you know, I'm a typical shopper, I'm at the checkout, but I'm hesitating. So I want to see, you know, some more information just to make sure that, you know, some legit is product to me. So um, the footer is really well done. Um, there's pretty much the, the essential information, shipping and returns. So really short and clean. So you get all your information in terms of shipping the U.S. or the rest of the world, as well as the returns. And uh, probably the last note on this is going to be uh, the fact they have an influencer uh, page. So that's really smart if you want to earn, um, you know, generate more traffic and sales to your store, if you can motivate influencers. Um, that's really well done. So hopefully that's working out. Yeah, they're actually uh, um, they're actually uh, referral candy. Uh, so they uh, customers. So they have a. Uh, uh, if you go to the bottom, uh, they also have a. Uh, uh, no, it's no, yeah, sorry, it's this. <laughs> yeah, but they, the, yeah, they use they use referral candy for um for for their affiliate. Oh, okay, cool. Well, then that's that's even, all the better. <laughs> they're a loyal customer. Um, all right, yeah, but uh, about the uh, the card. So um, so we we have a question again about the the yeah exactly where you're where you're clicking right now. Uh, that card that follows you uh, when you browse the, the, the website and they're asking if it's, uh, it's if it's because of the theme or if it's uh, or is it an app or code like what, what do you what do you think I mean maybe maybe you know the uh, the template yeah. itself but what, what does it look like to you yeah the, the, this is this site with me on Squarespace which is a really good platform I've used in the past um, so but if I'm not mistaken um, if you're adding e-commerce to any Squarespace site um, you're gonna have that so it's really good. It's a really good feature out of the gate from Squarespace to provide that to everyone. Um, if you're going to go on Shopify, it's not on every theme. Um, it's going to be the, it's going to, the, the the whole cart feature and 
design is going to be different from theme to theme. Uh, if you have this on Squarespace, if you're on Squarespace though, you should have this um, no matter what set you have, as long as it has e commerce. Right, okay. All right. Actually, before we move on to another one, I think that I feel like I need to be the bad cop. I need to be the one that criticizes just a tiny bit more because this is actually a criticism that is going to come back quite um, quite a few times um, in the next few websites that we're going to analyze. This is about having text on images, text within images, specifically, for instance, here. here. Um, it's beautiful because you get to use whatever font, you know, you can use. That's the beauty of having text on images. However, if you think this, I mean, luckily enough, this text is big enough to be read on mobile. Like, it's quite easy because it is huge. Um, so if you're ever going to be on your phone, it's going to be very, very easy to read. However, I do highly, you know, recommend not to do this. Um, and this is going to come up in the next few websites quite a bit. Uh, so I'm sorry, this is going, this is actually going to happen quite a bit. But um, in terms of you know mobile, so um, if you're going to do that, if you have a small, if you have very small fonts, it's not going to work well on a mobile. And in terms of SEO, um, Google can't read this. Google is not going to be able to read. Um, about this collection. So we highly recommend that whenever you, you do use a banner or use a slider, you hard code your text right above it, especially be it the text or the call to action, which here is see the collection. About quite a bit. Again, I've just said that about four times now. But um, yeah, just wanted to point that out even here kind of thing, because this is actually okay, because it's so big. But um, you'll see further on with websites where people have used text and images and really tiny text that on mobile it just doesn't work unfortunately and you'll have to be very very careful for that especially not just for mobile but also in terms of Google because Google will be reading these websites so be wary of this and next one ladies and gentlemen yeah all right so uh, next one is going to be Bumps and baby. Okay, so we got lots of information on this website. So we're trying to figure out what they're selling. So obviously the name implies we're talking about uh, mothers and their babies. Um, so trying to go. So they're obviously selling a lot of uh, natural products that we can tell. So things made out of herbs. Um, Great to have the best sellers right away. That's a great indicator. Um, even if you're starting out on e-commerce and you haven't made a sale yet, you probably know what your best selling products are going to be. Um, so just go ahead and say, you know, those are the best selling, and people might say, okay, like everybody's selling this product, as everybody's buying, buying this, so I'm probably gonna have to get one of them myself. Um, the fact, yeah, they're they're showing featured products, um, quite a lot actually. So, but they have a lot of categories. One thing we're noticing is um, the currency. So it looks like this is uh, the Indian currency. Um, if you're selling to an international market, um, most likely you, it would be a good idea if you have the ability to using your platform uh, to show the local currency. So if I'm in France, um, I feel a lot more secure if you're going to show uh, prices in euros because I just don't even know what the uh, uh, currency uh, exchange rate is, um, and I don't and I don't know um, if you're going to sell in my country. Um, also, just looking at some of the prices here, it's, the the price range is you know between 125 to 650, but it's excluding 5% VAT. Um, whereas you know we don't really have that on the other ones, so I'm not really sure um, if there's a specific reason here in terms of uh, legal uh, anything that's legal or tax related. But um, the idea is really to try to simplify that as much as possible um, for the entire world. I mean, your, your site is in English, so I'm, I'm assuming you're going to want to sell to as many countries as possible. So try to make that experience maybe uh, le 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 a bit less questionable. Um, again, we're seeing the same problem here that uh, Olivia mentioned. Um, this is going to be recurring. Um, but having text um, on your banner images, and I mean, it's really, it, it's, it's, you know, you can really get tempted to do this. It's really understandable. Um, Especially if, if 
you don't have um, coding experience, um, so you want to just basically have your image and have the text exactly where you want it to be, whereas having to code that might be complicated, or even if you're using a theme like on Shopify or another platform, the text might not always be in the best place in terms of your image, but a lot of times it's just going to be better to adapt uh, your image to where the text is going to be placed. Uh, again, in terms of SEO responsiveness, for reducing the screen size here, we're seeing that we're basically not reading anything uh, well. Like, you know, the previous site that we were seeing uh, was pretty lucky with that. They just had really big text, but here it's a bit unfortunate given that half of the traffic is on mobile. Uh, to not be saying that, so really try to uh, avoid that temptation. I know it's, it's tempting, but you'll really be better off um, without it. Um, okay, so I landed on a product page here. did so a bit uh, accidentally. Um, um, but look, it's looking pretty thorough. Um, what was last time? So you've got, you know, you've got the store owner talking directly to moms, so that's pretty smart. Um, Let's see, look at other parts of the site. Just add this to the cart very quickly. Okay, so, well, this has been taking a bit of time to load. Um, you have to check if, if that's normal. Um, but usually when we're talking about, um, you know, a store with a lot of, of catalogs and, uh, I guess, prices aren't that huge, you might want to have maybe a bit of a, um, an experience where you're going to add a product to the cart, but not necessarily take this customer straight to the cart. Uh, maybe they want to, you know, look at other uh, parts of your website. Um, so it, it may throw some people off if they have to go back, whereas it's a lot easier to just say, okay, yeah, I was on a specific product, I'm going to add to the cart, and then I'm just going to be right where I, where, where I was um, before adding to the cart. Um, so that's something to consider. Um, if we're looking at the navigation, so this looks like it's well organized. Um, baby care, nature's do, ebooks, etc. Um, but one thing you do notice, the, the, the links are quite long on, on the submenus, and that's primarily due to the fact that um, you, in this instance you have nature's do on each link. So I don't may that may not be necessary given that you already have nature's do in the title of the of this uh, menu item. Um, and especially if you're gonna go on mobile, this is probably gonna be a bit long. Probably gonna look at uh, we're looking at two lines per link, so it would be a bit more readable and easier to browse if we, if you could uh, maybe take Nature's Do out. Um, and if we're going to look for products, let's say we're going to look for a book. Well, it looks like there, yeah, looks like there's an auto suggestion, so that's really smart um, because sometimes people aren't just going to need a bit of help in terms of suggestions of what they want on your website. Um, so this is a really good decision, a good uh, Version optimization tip. Maybe if you're going to add, a, if you have the possibility to add an image uh, next to each title, then you know even if it's going to be small, it gives a better idea. Um, but that's a really smart, uh, that's a really smart decision. Um, we, I also noticed that um, you can order on WhatsApp um, on this site. That's something we don't really see often on e-commerce, um, but you know it's part of the whole um, social commerce era that we're going into. Um, so that's actually pretty wise uh, for people that are on WhatsApp all day. They just don't even have to leave the app to order. Um, so here you can just, you're basically leaving your, uh, it's like a, uh, an order by, by text message. So if there's anybody that's uh, comfortable doing that, then that's great. Um, and yeah, overall, good site. Um, I just noticed one slight bug. It's the fact what you see at the very top, this uh, notification um, bar. It, is overlapping with the header. So I'm imagining you've used some sort of a plugin or application. You might want to try to fix that so that we can always see the logo. That's really important. Um, but yeah, uh, let's move on to the next one. I don't know if there's any questions. Uh, no, no questions so far about this one. There were quite a few more comments, but I think we need to move on so, I can, so we can go yeah. through all of them actually. Okay, so next one is Pal Socks. All right, so this one's really cute. Um, really nice logo, nice colors. Um, it's fun to be friends with someone different. Um, that could be maybe a bit bigger. Uh, it's really, it's really smart. But um, maybe on mobile it'll be a bit too small. But um, yeah, your positioning statement maybe need to. If, if your positioning statements 
could be a bit more visible on the home page right away. Because I imagine it's going to be this. Health stocks can match as strong like three points to your feet. Uh, that'd be a good idea. Maybe change it a bit higher be, be, um, before the fold to give your, yourself uh, the maximum chance you, uh, to, for people to, to learn more and try to buy. Because this is, this, you do have a really good positioning statement. Um, so if you get maybe a bit above. Um, and yeah, same recurring theme is having the, the text um, done on your banner images. So try to try to avoid that. Really good to have video content. Um, this always helps. This seems to be a behind the scenes of the brand. Um, so that's a really well well done job. It shows you're professional. It shows that you've put time into your product. Um, if we're going to look at the navigation, um, we can see that um, we're looking at a traditional navigation. In the sense that you're going to have one link with the product categories, and then uh, other links which are going to be basically pages. Given uh, the, the diversity, you might, might want to consider um, focusing your navigation a bit more on the products themselves. Um, if we're going to go on just shop pal socks, we're going to have uh, quite a few options. And one thing we noticed, which is really, really great and should be maybe put forward a bit more, is customizing your own pack of socks. So I mean, we're in the era of, of, of product customization, personalization. Um, this could be something that could be put uh, forward on the home page, um, giving the ability for, for customers to um, uh, you know, basically choose their options for, for their purchase socks. Um, that's, that's a huge value um, um, contribution and also, that you could add for your brand. Oh, my, yeah. sorry, let me just break something up real quick. Um, about that, that box, if you could go back to the, to the box, um, this is something that could even, I mean, this is just an idea that I'm throwing here, but this could be something that they maybe they could offer as a recurring service, like maybe because um, you know it, it the, the whole point about their brand is that you know, your socks don't match, so it's you know it's kind of like a surprise that you're getting uh, with this box. So maybe you can set it up so you can get one of these boxes like every three months, for example, and you you know you're getting you know new socks every three months, um, especially for kids, like you know that it feels like it's a like kind of like a present. Um, so that's something I really like, and, and maybe they could maybe they could think about turning this into a, a, a subscription box, maybe. And also something I wanted to to mention about the the front page uh, about the video. You mentioned that it looks very professional, and and I will go a little bit uh, further than that. It's the fact that this is something that parents are gonna buy for their kids, and uh, you know if if you're buying something for your kid, you want to make sure that you're that you're buying something that it's you know that has good quality, and also you kind of want to see who's behind it. Um, so this is great, the fact that they have uh, a video that also kind of goes kind of behind the scenes. Um, I think it's really smart because, you know, it shows transparency, I think. Yeah, absolutely. And in this particular case, um, I think you gotta keep in, we got to keep in mind that the end user is going to be the kids, but the customers are going to be the parents. Exactly. Um, so they're, they're the ones and actually... If we can, you know, give trust indicators here as well, um, just in terms of reviews. If it's parents buying from, for their children, they want to know that it's, you know, good, qual uh, good quality product um, that's, you know, durable that the kids like. Um, and yeah, there's there's so many opportunities um, in this niche, um, whether it's through customization, or um, yeah, like you said, um, monthly subscriptions. Whether it's to give gifts to different kids, or just because you know kids get, you know, get their socks dirty hold so quick so there's there's definitely opportunity there um, to get uh, you know more business going through um, and you're also right to point out the video content because this is actually the future people would rather watch a two-minute video than read a two-minute long text so it's actually so nice to have one small video that does show you who it's for and who's going to wear it, it makes it so much easier to understand. Um, honestly, if any one of you guys have the opportunity to make videos, please do it. It is really where it's going to, and you, sh you should be doing that. You know, you should, really. Whether it's for marketing or for your own website, you should be going to towards that path. And uh, probably I will make a, a last comment um, on this site. Um, as you see the current navigation, we already talked about it. It's a bit traditional in terms of the content, but if we just go on our story um, and see what the brand is about, um, they do really have a, a, a great a great page here. You're seeing the co-founders right ahead. So um, 
that's really helping. Um, and they're giving, you know, a really personal, um, original story. Um, and that really helps. You know, you don't want to be, you know, you want to be buying from human beings. So if, if you're not too shy of putting your picture out there and saying, you know, this is me and this is, you know, my intention and what I, how I want to help the world with, uh, with my product, then you should definitely do that. Um, okay, so next site is Marvel Hairs, and uh, well, Olivia's going to pick it up from, from here. Okay, so um, this is Marvel Hairs, and this actually happens to be a Shopify website. Um, what we did notice is that the header seems to be quite big here. It does take a lot of the space when you think about the fold. Um, but what what we were kind of confused by is whether, because it says Marvel hairs, and you know, quite a few of the collections are about talking about hair. Then all of a sudden, you're talking about T-shirts. So we're wondering whether, you know, the positioning, whether the position was really clear or not. Um, it's still about hair at the end of the day, but you know, are you selling apparel? Or are you saying are you selling clothes? Or are you selling hair products? So that was kind of confusing to us. What we also noticed is that um, throughout the website, there's loads of product images, loads of them. They all look fairly similar, whether you're, and actually, you know, thinking about it, um, you're Marvel hairs, but, or you're seeing a t-shirt, which can be a tiny, oh no, there's a bit of hair here. But otherwise it can be a tiny bit confusing. Um, and what we did notice throughout the website is that, um, unfortunately, there are no um, lifestyle images. You actually don't see any of the t-shirts being worn. You don't see any humans. And I think um, this is something for people to bear in mind. It's always really nice to see um, humans on websites. It does make you kind of relate to them. It does make you think, oh, this might be what I look like in one of these t-shirts this might be what I look like when um, with some of these you know um, extensions and funnily enough because I actually went on the Pinterest page of this brand and they do have reviews which are absolutely amazing they're absolutely wonderful um, why don't you try to include those on the website is it would be amazing because you actually do get to see human faces um, it's so so nice to see those um, so this is just top advice for anyone who doesn't think that it's worth investing in lifestyle or, you know, just general pictures. I do think that it's really worth it. It makes you a lot more trustworthy um, as a brand in general. Um, in terms of another thing that I really liked um, about this website, because I, I may be criticizing it a bit, but um, I think for me, it was the About Us page that really did convince me. I thought it was so, so interesting. So this website is actually, um, so the person that actually created this website is not female, but it's, um, it's a man who really does um, enjoy seeing women empowered. And I think that was so, so wonderful. And one of the things that I've noticed with other people, with most of the next websites that we're going to look at, is that when you have a very, very personal story, um, don't feel like it's bad to actually have your face on, you know, the website. Make your business personal. It is absolutely okay to make your business personal. It gives you credibility. It shows that you're human, after all, and it makes us relate to you. So I think that the only thing that was missing, you know, for me, um, which is, is such a wonderful description, um, it was really seeing who was, you know, the face behind it. There were other few, other few things that, you know, I kind of liked, which were, you know, was a description behind every type of hair, um, kind of seeing what, you know, what the difference between Brazilian and Peruvian was. I wasn't entirely sure what the difference between closure and hair was, so if you could get a tiny bit more of an explanation between that, um, between those. Um, also in the footer, wasn't entirely sure why you would need a payment plan because it doesn't seem like most of the products were all that expensive. Um, so that might be a personal choice. Just wanted to mention that I wasn't entirely sure. So 
um, kind of want to see that. Another quick thing that other people do notice, and I think we've mentioned this before, is when you click on one of the social links and it opens on the same page, try to avoid that. Try to open it in another page. Um, it really does you know, it makes you lose your entire focus because if you were to open on, on, on a whole new page, whole new tab, it doesn't really matter because you can just close it and go back to the page, page that you were on, but really you need to try to get them to do as little clicks as you want. So, um, yeah, I think this is, um, this is about it. Maybe a couple more tips that other people might want to use is I um, think it's useful to always have a contact us um, link in the nav. I think it's always one of the first few things that people look at. Um, even when they just look at the fold, they do like to know that they can get in touch with you, that you actually are a genuine person, genuine human being that exists and they can get in touch with you. So always try to have that above the fold. Um, and um, FAQs, FAQs are super important. This was really missing for me trying to know why would I pick, for example, Brazilian hair um, over Peruvian or Malaysian, for instance. I think that was really missing. Um, and also a blog, um, a blog or a resource center, as we may call it, um, might help with that. So those were some of the few comments that I just wanted to throw in there. I also uh, wanted to mention something about the, uh, the, the personal story that you were mentioning before. Um, I've seen mm -hmm. a few examples of websites that have that and actually makes it, I mean, the, the, the fact that you're seeing the person behind the website, um, I don't know, it makes you feel a lot, let's say, closer to that person or makes you uh, understand who's behind it. And, and uh, also, uh, I would say that, especially with a product like this, that, uh, as we saw, has really good reviews, um, maybe it will be something interesting that the fact that you already have a loyal customer base uh, to make it you're not just another um, another product. Uh, you're you're not selling another product. You're selling story, or you're selling, you know, a little bit of a, a message behind it. So maybe uh, actually that's something I really liked from the, the the last store that we saw. Uh, that they they had a page dedicated to the founders and their story and why they did it and, and who they are. Um, so I think that actually um, again, for products that maybe require a little bit of uh, extra. Um, reassurement or you want to make sure about what you're buying, that actually helps a lot, I think. Completely, completely and utterly agree with you. I honestly think that people should be a tiny bit less scared of putting their face out there because at the end of the day, it does, as you mentioned, it does create that sense of intimacy between the customer you. It feels like, oh, they're just like me kind of thing. And it really reassures you. So completely agree with you there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the next one is um, Iceland skin care, skin care. So, so this was kind of funny to analyze because the website is actually Norwegian. So um, we did have a look at it um, on Google Translate and we did analyze kind of a bit of it. So first of all, I am not specifically, Michael just pointed at the website to me, you did not see this, but he did point at me to say, please mute this. Um, I, I think as a general rule, you should be avoiding music on your website because most of the times, um, nowadays, most of the people, you know, um, actually most of the content that will be using website, that will be using music, sorry, um, will be um, ads. You'll see them on ads, you'll hear music, and then you'll think, oh my god, how do I stop it? It must be a pop-up. So I do actually recommend that you do not use music. Um, it does create, I completely understand that it creates an atmosphere and a vibe to um, the entire brand that you're trying to create, but most of the time it's just going to be annoying to the user. So I would totally and completely avoid that. Saying that, this website has a very consistent, a very consistent, a very strong brand guideline kind of thing. It has strong fonts that are very consistent throughout all the pages, um, consistent, uh, consistent color scheme as well. Um, it's very, very strong. Um, in terms of, so again, it is Norwegian, but um, when we looked at Google, 
Um, we can look to what those means. These are in English, so we're absolutely fine with that. But um, we do believe that the shop should be before the story at the end of the day because it is an e-commerce website and what you're trying to do is shop. And ideally, you would want to try to develop all of these um, on the navigation. You would want to have the products and you would have to have the Andrew Fallinger, which are the recommendations if Google isn't betraying me. Um, you would want to have that on navigation, wouldn't have them explicitly. Um, story is super important anyways, um, because it does explain who you are. Again, we do love knowing who is behind the website and who tried to create it. Um, love Matters was the one that actually kind of, um, it, it compelled me to click on it, but I wasn't entirely sure what I was going, what I was going to find. Um, because I thought, what is love letters? Is it, you know, it, it does sound like it would be testimonials, but it's actually a lot more powerful than testimonials. It's awards that the brand has worn. Like, it's, it's, it's not just testimonials. I would have loved it if love letters would have been testimonials. I would think it would have been great. However, awards are a lot more powerful than actual testimonials. So I think you might be missing out if you're using love letters as opposed to saying awards. I really, really do think that you're missing out. Um, otherwise, kind of sometimes I, I don't entirely think that some videos for here, like for example, this video is taking a lot of space here. I don't think it's actually necessary. I don't think it adds anything to the brand in terms of, I think conceptually it's beautiful. But I'm not entirely sure that it would give me any sense of what the brand does or what this page does specifically. It wouldn't help me. So I'm not sure that I would keep it here. Um, another A page that I did really like was retailers because um, if my memory is correct, this was talking about, you know, where you could find it in terms of retailers, whether it was, you know, um, in terms of going to beauty specialists and others. And this was really clear because it would give you very, very specific addresses. I thought this page was really, really well made. Um, however, I know this is still a Norwegian, but um, yeah, the only part where you kind of get to see, you know, what you're talking about in terms of shipping is here, is on these pages. Um, there is nothing mentioned about shipping or returns on any of these pages. Um, and so I, I genuinely think that, and that's another comment that's going to come up quite a tiny bit, is you really need to talk about your shipping and your returns. Whether it's shipping or returns, you really need to have it somewhere because those are trust indicators if you're telling that you can ship, you know, whether it's just in your country or throughout the world, or however much you need to spend, um, it does tell you, you know, oh, you're shipping to either this country, oh, oh, I need to spend this much to actually get free shipping. So shipping is always worth mentioning straight, you know, from the beginning. Always, always, always. You always want to know how, you know, as a customer, you always want to know, oh, how am I going to actually get it? How am I actually going to get it to come to my house? So I think this is the last point I'm going to make about this website um, because I've waffled on, but yes, shipping always really, really important. I think it's definitely going to come up again. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about this, um, please make them in English because I am struggling with my Norwegian. <laughs> um, now, so, so, so far, um, so far, we don't have any number of questions, but I, I do want to bring up um, so yeah, so we can move on to the, the next one, but in the meantime, I would say about, about the love letters, um, I didn't, so, so I also didn't know exactly what I was going to find um, behind love letters, but uh, yeah, I think it would be a great name for uh, for testimonials, and uh, exactly. maybe if you can get your customers to write a little bit more uh, than just like the, you know, like the tweet size testimonial, but more, you know, something a little bit more developed that can actually look like uh, a love letter for a brand like this, I think will be a, a great idea, like you mentioned. All right, so next one is called Women of Hope. So 
Where the Hope is, oh, happens to be on Shopify. Um, it's a website that we felt really compelled to because of its cause and its name. It's a strong, strong name. Um, and the cause is really, really nice. Unfortunately, again, as I mentioned earlier, um, see, you've got images with text. Those, yeah, if you're on mobile, that doesn't work. Um, and you'll see that throughout this very specific website quite a few times. So whoever's behind it, please, you know, please be wary of this. Um, that I can actually bet you that most of the people that are visiting your website are on mobile now because it is 2017 and people do use mobile more than laptops nowadays, more than desktop, more than regular screens. So if I were you, I'd be really, really wary of using images with text on it, um, especially this. I'm on a huge iMac right now, but I can't read this for the life of me, and I'm wearing glasses. I have quite good vision normally. But um, yeah, I would be really, really wary, not only just because of responsiveness, again, just SEO. Google can't read that. You will never be able to read that. So again, be super, 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 super wary of that. Um, and even though we loved the name Women of Hope and we loved the cause, it's not something that you see above the fold. You don't actually see any explanation for what the cause is above the fold. Again, here, um, it's super nice. It gives you so much hope and is so positive and so great. But I don't really know what I'm contributing towards. Um, but if I scroll a tiny bit, there's this piece here that actually explains it, which is brilliant. Um, and here's another hot tip. Um, people on the internet will get, I mean, people on the internet are super lazy, just like really, really super lazy. Um, mostly when it is, when it is an article, they won't read past 50 words. So, this entire statement is wonderful. I would keep literally just this and would put it somewhere above the fold because this actually does, whoops, my bad. Um, this actually does explain what you do. It talks about your principles. It talks about what you're doing for the community. It talks about all these things that you're doing to empower these women in Guatemala. It's absolutely wonderful, but you don't get to see that above the fold. So I think this is one of the few things that I really, really want to emphasize again, and it's definitely going to come up again. Um, a strong positioning statement above the fold that makes the client understand where they are and what they're going to buy straight away is so, so, so important. Um, in it might terms be a, of- a good, a good point. So it might be interesting for them to uh, maybe- yep. On a, on a video for the homepage so you know you can watch like a one or two minute video uh, that maybe that, that shows the women they work with and it shows the how they work um, and you know what's behind it ideally we love to do that we actually really really love to do that it depends on how complex your um, concept is because if it's a very very simple concept where you just want to see what the product looks like then find a video and you know just a banner um, just a sorry just a kind of statement works about it but in general like having a video like as you mentioned having a video on this home page would be so useful and actually there is one um, if I'm not mistaken on meet women or hope um, there is one and there is a yeah. voiceover over it but it's kind of difficult to hear as well I think this page is absolutely amazing by the way um, it's so brilliant because you actually do you get to meet the people that created your, your products, the products that you're about to buy? I think it's so wonderful. You actually get to see them. You get to read their statements. You get to read about how Veronica is studying. It's absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Um, I, this is one of my favorite pages on the website. Um, but if I, I would definitely keep it on the navigation. But there is quite a few things that in this navigation I would take away. Um, in terms of maybe home show, catalogs, get involved. Those are things that I kind of see more in the footer than anything. I'm imagining all these to go in the footer. Um, and in general, in terms of just even just the home page, 
I would say that having a statement, having a video, for instance, that explains your concept would be great. But also what I'm missing in this homepage is actually seeing the products, you know. I'm uh, kind of seeing them there in the collection, but I'm not seeing, for instance, for instance, the staff picks. Just seeing maybe four examples of staff picks. It's always great. <coughs> I beg your pardon. <clears throat> um, it's actually great to see a couple of your products on the homepage just to see what you're getting. Like collections are absolutely wonderful, although I'm not entirely sure why you would have numbers under those because I've looked at all the other collections and wasn't entirely sure maybe you were trying to order them on the homepage. Um, but other than that, I wasn't sure. But um, and those are actually great collections, by the way. Staff picks, that's wonderful. I almost think that is almost better than um, best sellers. Because I think, especially if you have um, this business that is doing stuff really, you know, from the inside, and it's very, very personal, I, I really did enjoy that. I really enjoyed having staff picks. Um, again, shame that the text is on the image because I can barely read this, and I can't imagine how somebody on a mobile could read this. But, <clears throat> um, yeah, definitely showing some products on here. Um, trying to shorten this. That would be so, so wonderful. Um, these are some of the things that I, but otherwise, um, it's such a great cause. Really, really enjoyed going through this website. There is so much content. And um, at times, I actually did feel like there was there was too much content. Um, I feel like our story should be one of the most compelling pages. And I really did. It, it takes so much time to load, by the way. It takes quite a while to load. You've put quite, you've did put so much stuff in it um, is a great page however you do mention that you're going to talk about you know the stories of the founders and that does not actually happen um, throughout the page so I think you should be actually wary of you know saying that you're going to talk about something and then not mentioning it and it's actually just not loading um, it's taking so I'm not entirely sure if you've used a plugin or anything but it is taking quite a bit of time to load so you should be also wary of that because um, looking at statistics really that makes you lose quite a few customers a slow page a slow website makes you lose quite a few clients um, if I were to remember the statistics it's actually like a not point no not four seconds makes you lose 13 customers or something like that so really be wary of how long your website takes to load and um, that in general, really, really how long it takes to load. If you guys have any questions. Yeah, I was going to, to bring it up, guys, if you guys have any questions about this. Um, just, again, feel free to, to post it here. In the meantime, yeah, we can go um, on the on to the next one. But, I mean, we're, we're seeing the good quality of all the websites that we're reviewing so far, anyway. Yeah, I'm really happy with the quality of the websites that we received. It's um, both of us were. It's, they're actually great. I think most of it is about brilliant content, but not necessarily displayed the right way. So you know, for instance, having all these texts in these images. I think honestly, some of it is so so great. It's just about the way that you display it and about the way that people are going to consume it. But honest, honestly, it's been very very great as an experience so far really great and so many niches so really really impressed with that you guys sounds good so we, um, we have about um let's say about 10 more minutes um so maybe we can go over uh we have how many we have left about yeah we can probably go over the the next few ones i'll do them quicker then i'll do i think my british accent is slowing things down if i'm being honest but um, we have a message from uh, Tina. Um, it's great feedback. I'm mean, I'm assuming Tina's from uh, from the, the website that we just uh, reviewed from Home, uh, Woman of Hope. Um, uh, yeah, Woman of Hope. <laughs> uh, so great feedback. Appreciate it so much. We'll check on the our story page load. Never seen that before. The director stories are on the Meet uh, Woman of Hope page, but good critic. Um, I did it, but don't have any graphic design or web design background. Uh, looking for all professionals to help us know. How to update it? Thank you. So, wow. I mean, if you did it yourself without any knowledge of uh, of graphic design or web design, I mean, this is amazing. 
Uh, honestly, it, it has been. Like, looking at this website, again, Tina, so, like, such a great work. Honestly, going through this, it's been so moving. We work with so many brands that actually have social causes. Um, it's so great to see another one thriving. So good job there, especially doing it all on your own. And if you ever need any help, please reach out to us. We would love to actually help you. Like, this, it's brilliant so far. So, yeah, just wanted to put it out there. Also, at the end of a webinar, we'll we'll let you know how to uh, get in touch with uh, with with uh, Michael and Olivia for a strategy session. So so yeah, just in a, in a few minutes, we'll give more details about it. So um, so yeah, so we have about yeah about ten more minutes. Uh, maybe we can yeah go over with the ne the next one. I'll skip through them quite quickly. But um, to cool. be honest, some of them were really really well made. Um, if I'm gonna go through this one really really quickly again, set it text and images. You know, try to avoid that. However, again, um, you know, having the woo, no, no, going back, having um, you know the alert bar saying that there's free shipping, always a great, great thing because that never leaves you. Wherever you go, it's always under there. It's, it's always there, and it reminds you. You know, you got got free shipping when you spend fifty dollars. So always, always brilliant. Um, the fact that you're as well when you're shopping. So you I mean, know, you know if you spend a few more bucks, then you'll get it. Exactly. It's so, but it's so brilliant to have it there as a reminder because you know you'll just buy a few things. You'll go whether it's hair type of comb, comb type. It's whatever. You'll go and it's still going to be there. And also, great way of distributing the navigation, by the way, because it makes it so easy to go. Because um, I like I have very thick hair, by the way. So like this is really personal right now. But um, yeah, I have very thick hair. So I clicked on this automatically, just you know, like personally, click there, explain all this, and I felt like I was personally touched um, by the soul of a thousand angels. I was like, <laughs> oh my god, this is exactly this. <laughs> like this is my life. Um, so it's so great, you guys. It's always so great to have a description for a collection. Um, like I absolutely I thought that was wonderful. Um, honestly, having a description that shows me, you know, exactly what I'm looking for, especially if it's, you know, you know, targeted to me. Um, another thing that I really liked actually about the collections was that you get to see when you hover, um, you get to see what it looks like on the hair. So that was brilliant. I mean, if I have, I have to, if you're forcing me to criticize, you could keep better image consistency between, you know, having somebody posing here and there behind a white background but really this is me pushing it because to be fair I think it's already brilliant that you're showing people what it looks like in the hair if I'm really being honest I think that's absolutely brilliant because I don't even have to look which means that I can quick shop and again brilliant feature being able to quick shop um this is another thing that I say quite a bit is having the contact us in that bar I think it's always helpful to have it because people don't have to look all the way down um and Another thing that I've noticed, this is not the only store that I've noticed this with, but um, cart and checkout are the exact same. Um, so if you look down there, if I go to cart or if I go to checkout, it's the exact same thing. So try to delete one of those because they're not really useful. Just try to keep cart ideally because people will understand cart better than they will ever understand checkout. And another great thing, again, so this is how I'll end it, um, is the reviews. Um, I wouldn't call it reviews on the news bar, I would definitely call it testimonials, I think it sounds better than reviews, um, but again, I thought that was absolutely brilliant. Ideally, again, this is me pushing for really constructive criticism because this website is really nice, um, is trying to use an app because, you know, it makes it look more trustworthy if you're using, you know, um, trusted, um, um, yeah, trusted shops and stuff like that, one of these apps. But really having these, it's just brilliant. It just makes me understand your business a lot more because I'm hearing it from other people like me as a customer and it makes me trust you all the more. So this will end on maybe change it, you know, from reviews to testimonials. But other than that, really happy with seeing this. It's been really convincing as an experience. And let's I'm hearing questions. I'll move on to um, Tea with Company. So Tea with Company is, this one was built on um, Squarespace. Um, this one really, again, I was really fishing for constructive criticism because honestly, 
um, the positioning statement is so clear right there you understand what they're doing straight away you don't actually have to look anywhere you understand that it's tea and it's chocolate do the best things that you can get you know man um so really so easy to understand so so easy to understand a great use of the alert bar again it tells you exactly when the sales are happening so this is really brilliant like even if i go below the fold there's a tiny bit more of an explanation they've created even their own you know hashtag which is absolutely brilliant i do actually recommend that you do that especially if you're developing your own brand. It might not be easy at the very beginning, but having your own hashtag, I think it does pay off really. Try to find something that's very niche, very personal to you, and I think that it will work out. Um, one thing that I was kind of confused by is this is technically a uh, single product you know, page because all you're buying is a box. So this is technically the most important call to action is becoming a member. I got confused because joining the family kind of sounds like becoming a member. So if I were you, I would change that, you know, because it's what you're trying to say is, you know, join the family, kind of like follow us on social networks. But what I understood was, you know, join the family, become a member. So I was looking for a call to action here. And I thought, oh, where is it? I can't kind of see it. And since this is a homepage, it is a homepage, but you should still have somewhere a section that is still you know allowing you to buy the product I should still be able to be here right below the fold and still be able to buy so this is my recommendation personally I think that especially if it's a single product which secondly is what you're selling you're selling a box you know a subscription box um, but is one product you should still have it on your home page you should be allowed to have it on your home page and maybe change the fact you know join the family and also, I knew that it was a square space because of five icons. So you guys, everybody, worry about the five icon. Um, do keep a look on it because Shopify will have, obviously, you know, Shopify icon, square space will have the square space one. So please make sure that you do actually change it. All right. Um, I am going through this kind of fast, but this is really all I had to say. Um, this one had, yeah, I'm not mistaken. There you go. I'm just going to Google it because I think it had, yeah. So, I mean, this, the fact that I had to Google it as opposed to actually, um, you know, put it directly as a URL, I think it kind of does tell you something. Um, first of all, it's still in myshopify.com URL. You should by now have your own domain name. Um, and maybe try to avoid, you know, dashes, because it makes it a lot more complicated for me to focus on my keyboard and actually type them. Um, and but other than that, um, yeah, again, here's another instance where you see that there's cart and checkout, and those are the same things. Then you should really just try to stick to one of them. Um, what I did enjoy, again, free shipping, so easy, just makes it so much easier for my brain to remember it. It's just there. Um, but here, slider, hey, again, mentioned it, text on the image, try to avoid that, bad for SEO. Um, this text in the slider is kind of difficult to read, what I accidentally clicked, um, makes it kind of difficult to read because it's not really dark enough, but however, I do love the fact that it is presenting you with all the offers that are currently going on. Um, it's not mentioning the positioning statement, which I think is literally right here. And also, it's a brilliant one, you know. Um, it's literally designer brands with sustain uh, sustainability. I struggle with that one. Um, that's brilliant. I think I would even try to put it somewhere above the fold. It's kind of a nice thing um, about the fact that you're not mentioning it above the fold because, and you're just mentioning discounts because... On some level, it kind of reminds me of all the Victoria's Secret, like of a Victoria's Secret website where um, everybody's meant to kind of know who you are, so you don't really need to mention it. Um, you know, I'm, I don't, I didn't actually mind that I was below the fold for the first time because you already had enough to convince me with the discounts, if I'm being honest. So I thought, oh, okay, well, at least, you know, I get something free with my purchase. So I think there's different strategies that you can take with, you know, this kind of design. Um, other than that, I um, 
I like this section, however, I don't think it should be the most important one on your homepage. Um, the events one isn't clickable, all these ones. I can click on our blog, I can click on spring, I can click on the story, but I can't click on events, so I would be worried about that. Um, there's a few more things that I would put before this section um, quite there, because I think it's brilliant to have your collections there. I think there's so many brilliant things that you put on your homepage but they're not being emphasized enough. I would say that, for instance, your collections are brilliant. I would say that having your testimonials are absolutely wonderful, um, especially if you have pictures as well. So there's a few um, things I would prioritize right there, um, right at the top on this homepage, trying to kind of strategize a tiny bit better um, what's happening. There is no... Um, mention on wait there's one thing that I also wanted to look at, look at it's um I think it's the blog I think blogging is so wonderful for brands because it makes you connect with them it really really does but if you don't update your blog it can make you look bad it can actually because they do show the dates so unfortunately enough we know that you're working on your website but your customers might not know that and they might think that you're slacking because they see the date and they're thinking well this hasn't been updated in a while so either you can update the blog or try to remove the dates because this it makes you look we know that you're not slacking I'm not accusing you of anything but it does the dates make you look kind of bad unfortunately this is usually what happens whether in any kind of actually domain, it can make you look bad whether you're a marketer or you know, like whether you're a store owner or a marketer or anyone really. It just makes you it's it's just the thing about the days and I think Kurt Elster says that quite a bit actually. Um and I would go on about it, however I'm gonna try to make it quicker because we've got a couple more ones left. But um um Fav Icon again. Um just another really, really quick one, Fav Icon. And um, yeah, I'm moving on, but any questions? If you have any questions, please, please, please feel free to reach out. Yeah, we have about, yeah, um, we have two more, right, if I'm correct, so. Yeah, I'm going yeah, we'll really quickly. I think, I think we'll, be, we'll be fine. Um, this is Green Chic Me, Green Chic Me. Um, First thing that you'll notice, again, which is something that you mentioned, Raul, like, right, it's the pop-up right from the start. I really don't mind them. I think they might be a bit aggressive, but if the offer is good, I will subscribe, if I'm yeah. being honest. Like, like, just like, oh, it's a bit aggressive, but actually, if the offer is good, I will definitely, definitely follow that one. And I think 10% off is enough to make me subscribe. It's the first one um, I've seen in a while, I think. Um, I think this one, I think... Yeah, I think the next one has one as well. Um, Candy also has one. Um, I think it was, I, I actually, I tend to complain about them, but, you know, I tend to be like, I hate that, but then I do secretly subscribe to them because, yeah. you know, it's <laughs> it just works. You know what I mean? Yeah. Exactly. Um, one thing that I, um, I mean, I, I did understand afterwards that this was your currency, but I was a tiny bit confused at the very, very beginning that, you know, um, if you were to say, you know, $15 for delivery, kind of not entirely sure that it's explicit enough, you know, what kind of delivery. Again, it might be a country thing, so I'm not entirely sure, but I was a tiny bit confused that, you know, it was like, oh, okay, this is the currency delivery, but oh, what kind of, is it quick delivery? Is it, oh, okay. Like, I wasn't entirely sure, so you might want to be, make that one a tiny bit more explicit. Um, otherwise, this entire homepage um, had me fangirling, um, quite hard because the fonts very consistent the color scheme super super consistent you can see you know the color here the color here you know like black and black is it's just really really nice in terms of it's very very consistent unfortunately again you know text on images um, this is my pet peeve you've understood by now um, um, very very unfortunate but other than that um, really a huge huge fan um, I loved the fact that the word was used, the word current was used on favorites. It's not something that you see quite um, quite often, but actually it makes me feel like you're updating this quite often. You know, it makes me feel like, oh, it's, it's current. So, you know, it might be this week. So, you know, it might be, you know, this month. So 
think I was like, oh yeah, it's not something that I'm used to, really. Um, I enjoyed the fact that the blog was, you know, updated. I went on the blog and it was so current. It was like 10 tips for staying healthy this Ramadan. And I thought, oh, Ramadan is actually coming up. This is a brilliant topic. You know, you're actually keeping it updated, which is absolutely brilliant. I really thought that was wonderful. Although I was confused because on the homepage, um, this made me feel like this is what is being featured on the blog. However, this is your story, which isn't technically on the blog. So I wasn't entirely sure whether that was part of the blog or not. Um, I think if it's not, you might want to dedicate an entire section about it to your homepage because it is really, really important. Um, I read this and it was really actually compelling. It talks a lot about, uh, you know, um, the fact that you're really, you know, scared about ingredients and making sure that it's absolutely, you know, fine for us to use it. I thought it was a brilliant section, actually. I think that if you, you might not want to hide it in your, you know, blog post. You might want to actually make a, you know, a statement, this is not just about us, but, you know, our values. Not necessarily, you know, about us, but really, this, these are your values. These are the things that you avoid. This, these are the things that you make sure that your customer is not going to have. So I think that was important. Unfortunately, again, text in an image. Again, pet peeve. I'm so sorry. I'm just going to keep reminding you of this. But I thought this was actually really powerful. I think you can actually give it even more emphasis on your page, really. Um, really, really enjoyed it. Um, and then that, maybe the brand's page, I thought that could be presented in a tiny bit more of a concise way because right now it's really big images. But then again, I'm saying this, but on mobile, works absolutely fine. So, you know, um, I think if you're going to be, I'm from that new school where if you're going to pick between, um, you know, having big images or small images and small text and stuff like that, I'd rather you pick big images because it's going to look better on mobile. And um, maybe the last thing, um, really enjoyed the product page, I thought it was brilliant for you to have the ingredients list and how to use and all these all these informations. I thought it was brilliant. Um, what I do see, however, is potential for cross selling. You can see, you know, if you're seeing that this is for somebody who, you know, has maybe um, you know dry skin type or oily skin type, you might want to cross sell and say, oh, these are all the other products that you might want to use if you have an oily skin type, for instance. So I, I see loads of potential. Um, for this website, loads and loads of potential. And um, this is what I'll go with before I um, go to our last website, which is Candy. Candy.ca, if I did not get that wrong. Yes. Um, I think it's because, yeah, there you go. There you go. Beautiful, beautiful pop up. Um, it doesn't necessarily have a discount. Um, on this pop-up, uh, I think it was still nice. Um, I mean, it's technically competition, so it is a discount. Um, I thought that was quite compelling. Really, really enjoy that. Um, and I think overall for this website, um, I, I actually like the. Um, I mean, I think it's maybe more powerful to have the. I don't know. It's like lottery. So you know, you sign up and you have yeah. the doing something for free. You know, you don't, you're not forced to buy something, but you know, you might as well get something for free. What's what's the cost for you to uh, to subscribe to the newsletter? Nothing. So I, I, I think, think it depends on the strategy, but it's great, isn't it? Yeah. I think I agree. With you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's it is a lottery, isn't it? Right. It's brilliant. I I actually really enjoyed it, and I enjoyed this entire website. Actually, I thought it was so informative. Um, actually, gives you all the information again. Positioning statement above the fold gives you everything. Like, it just explains it in such few words. It just tells you this. You don't even have to. You spend less than a minute on this, you know, on this statement. You just exactly know what you're going to get. Do you know what I mean? The imagery is brilliant. Um, okay, this again, this is me fishing for criticism, okay? This is me fishing for constructive criticism. Um, I know these are, I mean, again, um, I'm French. No, well, I do have a British accent, but I am French. Um, um, I wasn't. I know that these are sweet browns, but I wasn't entirely sure. Does that mean that you're featuring them? Maybe have some kind of title to say those are the sweets that we're featuring. Maybe because I, I saw those and the first few ones. I know Starburst. Um, I know that one, but originally I just looked down and was like, oh, what's 
what's happening here? What, what are these brands? So maybe this, but then again, you know, you guys are Canadian, so maybe you um, know all these sweets. So it's just me being very um, ignorant about sweets. Um, again, really informative, just tells you exactly where to go, whether it's, and again, strong colors, get started, give us a gift. Um, really, really strong, really tells you which one, whether, whether or um, how it works. It's really, really, it's so, it makes you so confident and so trustworthy, whether, you know, you pick a monthly plan, you know, all these things, really like trust indicators. And again, you have reviews, um, which are absolutely brilliant. Again, this is me fishing for criticism. Maybe I would try to put them in a slide or something that's a tiny bit more, you know, concise. Again, really fishing for criticism here because at the end of the day, it does explain everything here. Um, I do love the imagery. I think it looks delicious. I was really, really compelled. Um, the fact that they subscribed twice in the first half, that was confusing, but um, again, fishing for criticism, maybe put the payment plans in the first set. It always reassures people to see that you can pay through Visa, that you can pay through PayPal, that you can pay through all these things. It really does, actually does do its, its thing, um, if I'm being honest. It doesn't always look great, um, but, and this is a discussion that we often have in our agency, is like, okay, it doesn't look great, but does it do its job? Because at the end of the day, if you you are actually, you know, giving the information to people, does it really matter whether you've, I mean, it does matter whether you've done it in the best way or not, but um, sometimes the, not the nicest way is the one that will be the best effective, you know, the most effective. So I think it's, it's, it's still kind of important. So maybe if you had payment portals, um, that could help. Um, great to have the online chat. Um, Anyone who doesn't have the online an online chat option, I highly, highly recommend it because it really gives you that option to pick up on these people that are about to leave, that couldn't bother to actually go through the FAQ. You just pick up on them because they're there and they want to talk to you and hey, you happen to be there too. So hey, you just pick up on them. So really, really, really highly recommend. And this is actually really nicely done. So. Um, congratulations, Candy! You bloody nailed it. I also like the fact that they sell at the, at the very top and say that the main box is sold out. So it's like, wow, I better hurry next time. Yes. Yeah. Brilliant use of the um, notification, uh, you know, alert bar. I think it was it was nice because it actually does tell you it, and it also gives a sense of urgency. If I'm being honest, yeah. it's yeah. kind of like, mm -hmm. oh, I kind of need to buy it. I need to buy the June one because the main one is already sold out. So giving a sense of urgency. Sometimes showing um, showing how many, I think another website was doing that, um, doing, um, showing how many um, bracelets were left. I think it's just kind of like, oh, only, I think it might have been a woman of hope, actually. Um, only four bracelets left, and you're thinking, oh, my God, there's only, you know, there, there is a sense of urgency. It makes you want to buy. Yeah. So, again, yeah, completely agree with you on that one. Well, actually, I mean, I, I really like this one. Um, I mean, I feel like they, they, the, all the, the colors and all the images that they have, it's just very well done. Um, they're very high quality pictures. They match the branding uh, perfectly. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm actually looking at the website in two different screens and uh, well, you know, the color usually changes from one to another and still matches. I don't know, I, I really like it. And uh, and yeah, I also really like that that banner at the top that, that tells you, hey, that we, we just sold out on the on the product for, for May. So, you know, you better better grab a uh, grab a spot for the for the June box. So you know so you don't so you don't miss out on that one. So yeah, brings your urgency um, and makes makes your I feel like it makes your customer also it's something that I mean it's candy. You know, it's it's you don't need to think a lot. I mean <laughs> it's actually the probably the more you think, uh, you know, the, the less likely you're gonna buy it. So you, you probably want to just buy right away. Um, so yeah, I think they played that card very well. Wait, but you know what? Actually, I love that. You know, I think you're absolutely right that the fact you know, like it's candy. Let's not let's not kid ourselves. Yeah. But they still give you the option. They tell you you can get a box. <laughs> I love that. Okay, that was one of my favorite things about the website. I, I can't believe I almost forgot about this. I think having that option was absolutely bloody brilliant. I absolutely <laughs> love that. I was so happy with that. I was like. 
Oh, you guys, no, you nailed it. That was that was brilliant. I they absolutely love that. Yeah, I loved it. All right. Um, so I think uh, well, I don't know if um, you want to bring something, maybe mention something else about Candy or Michael. You guys want to um, maybe uh, say something before we wrap up? Uh, yeah, I mean, it was uh, really had a good time doing this. Um, we've been able to go through a bunch of different niches. Um, you can really see some you know, different businesses at different stages, uh, so we're going through on the spectrum. Um, and that's, you know, I think that the, the key takeaway is no matter where you're at in your e-commerce business, whether you're selling physical goods or um, digital or a service, um, the main takeaway is just to look how you can improve and do better every month. Um, one of the key uh, numbers you're looking at, you know, in, in, even if you're going to log on your Shopify store or whatever e-commerce platform you're on, usually one of the first statistics you're going to see is your is going to be your conversion rate. Um, so yeah, as as a as a last takeaway, I would say you know just always look to uh, make it better every month. Um, yeah, don't worry about you know when they say what is it. You know, people will actually ask you what's a good conversion rate. Don't care about that. You know what good conversion rate is? It's better than the one that you did last month. This is what a good conversion yep, rate exactly. is. That's remember. Yeah. So um, just always look to do better every month um, and take it from there. Um, if there's again, if you guys ever need any any help, um, we offer a 30 minute consultation to everyone who participated, um, so that we can go a bit more over in detail in terms of. Uh, what your strategy is on your website, how you can make the experience better for your customers, uh, what's the outlook for your business, and uh, yeah, if you ever need any help, feel free to, to reach out. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to bring up. So um, for those of you who sign up for the for the webinar, um, even if you uh, will actually, we're, we'll, we'll send it, the, the replay to the webinar for, to, to everyone who registered, uh, but there's always free stuff that we like to give away. So uh, on our side, we're giving an extended free trial on Rafael Candy. So if you have an e-commerce store and you're getting word of mouth sales and you want to make the most out of this word of mouth sales and incentivize your customer uh, to talk more about your, your brand and, and refer you to their friends, um, you can try for 60 days. Uh, you can see how it works. You can you can actually see the results that that we can get you in in, um, in two months. And uh, I just put a link uh, here in the chat box for everyone. If you follow that link, uh, that's actually an, an offer that we're that we're offering for uh, the next 72 hours. So uh, yeah, you better uh, grab a spot there. Um, and again, 60 days um, on top of the so it's 60 days in total, 30 days on top of the 30 that we offer by by default. And on the other side, Maokao is offering a 30 minute free strategy session with uh, Michael and, and Olivia. And if you want to uh, if you want to reach out to them for this uh, 30 minute free strategy session, you just have to email them uh, their email here in the uh, in the screen and just put free strategy session on the subject and they will know that you're coming from from the webinar. Um, and again, if you have any questions, uh, here's both of our emails. Uh, feel free to reach out. And uh, before I leave, I want to thank you guys again, both Michael and Olivia. It was a pleasure. Uh, I've actually learned a lot uh, from you guys. It was it was very 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 good. Uh, also for me, because uh, it's always great to to hear from from experts that uh, you guys. I mean, you guys have seen thousands of e-commerce stores, and uh, so it was it was a pleasure for me, and, uh, and I'm sure it was a pleasure for everyone who attended. So again. Thank you. No, thank you guys. Thank you to all the people that participated yeah. and actually being, you know, fair play participants. Like we're so happy that you guys actually were daring enough to send us your website. So thank you. Yeah. So <laughs> all right. So we're going to leave it here. Uh, again, thank you all for attending and uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye, guys. Thank you.